In this question, we're going to discuss the question that we've done before on the word park town. We're going to look at this question again, and we're going to take it a, a one step further. If I may remind you quickly, when we did this question before, we said how many eight letter words can we build using the eight letters from the word park town only once. Now, let's quickly do that question one more time. So we are going to build eight letter words, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight letter words. We're going to use the letters from the word park town, but they can't repeat. Now, we have eight letters available. We built eight letter words, so I think you still remember the answer to this one. But let's make sure. So for the first position, eight possible letters. Second position, seven. Remember, they can't repeat. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Therefore, our answer, eight factorial. For this discussion, we're not going to calculate this eight factorial yet. So eight factorial number of words is possible to build from the letters from the word park town if no repetition is allowed. Now I want to put a restriction on. I say build eight letter words, but I want to restrict the first and the last position, like we've done in a previous example as well with the band who toured the country. So what I'm going to do now is I've got three, four, five, six, seven, eight letter words. The first letter must be a P. The last letter must be a N. How many words can I now build if the first is a P, the last is a N, and they cannot repeat? Now, like we said before, once the first position is fixed and they can't repeat, this P can't be in any one of the other positions. The N can't be in any one of the other positions. So what we're basically going to look at is only that part. Because the P and the N is already fixed, already used, they can't be used again. So how many letters are left? Only six. So that will be six, five, four, three, two, one. So that means six factorial number of words can be formed if P is the first letter, N is the last letter. Now, for the interesting part. We discussed now over the last few sessions, probability during our grade 10 and 11 sessions. And probability, we said, is the chance that something may happen. Our definition for probability, if I may remind you, we said was the P of E is equal to the N of E over the N of S. So the probability that an event will happen is how many outcomes in that event, how many total number of outcomes. Now I'm going to bring in probability into the counting principle. And I'm going to show you how we use the counting principle to answer probability questions. So I'm asking you, we built eight letter words using the eight letters from the word park town. They are not allowed to be repeated. These letters can't repeat. If I select randomly one of these, these words, what is the probability that word will start with a P and end with an N? So can you see why I discuss these with you, is to assist you on this probability question. So we built eight letter words using the letters from the word park town only once. How many? Eight factorial. If I select a word randomly, what is the probability it will start with a P and end with an N? How many words starts with a P and ends with an N? Of course, six factorial. So what is the probability if I randomly select a word? That word will start with a P, ends with an N. And of course, that will be the probability of that, of this 
event to happen will then be the favorable outcomes or how many words starting with B ends with N, six factorial divided by the total number of words, eight factorial. Now, you may calculate this on your calculator, six factorial divided by six factorial, or if I may show you how easy it is to do without a calculator, is that the six factorial we leave, the eight factorial we write as eight times seven times six factorial. Remember, factorial means it goes down to one, so I only extend it down to six factorial. They will cancel out. Remember, one left at the top, the bottom seven times eight, 56. So the probability that if I select a word randomly from all these words built using the letters from the word park town, only once, what is the probability that word will start with a P, ends with an N? And that, of course, is 1 over 56. And that is to show you how we use the counting principle to help us to solve probability questions.